Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. <laughs> Yo, come out of when I like C murder. Oh my dead grandmother said, I would when I like C murder, bro. I swear to God. I swear to everything I love, bro. I don't want I like C murder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just see the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, story said, your nigga feed me out when I was like 12 years old. Your nigga choked me out when I was 12 years old. I try to kill a whole building. <laughs> Yo, I just see what happened, son. Yo, y'all niggas. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Whenever you see someone confused or talking nonsense, say, shut up. And enjoy your glass of Luke Bel Air. <laughs> For you that's kicking that bullshit, at least have on twelve thousand dollar pair of these boots. If you're gonna kick some bullshit, boy, it's the biggest boss. <laughs> these niggas crazy. <laughs> if we kicking bullshit, it's gotta be expensive. Twenty thousand dollar pair of Louis Vuitton boots. That's if we gonna kick bullshit. We gotta do it like a boss. One time for the number one rum in the world, Bumble Rum. You see the tips? Come on, man. Biggest. I just got the call. I got smoke because I really respect, like I really fuck with you. <laughs> I don't fuck with you on like no gangster shit. Like y'all artists gotta understand this. I don't fuck with y'all niggas on no gangster shit. I fuck with y'all niggas on some business shit and, and as a man, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why you ain't call me, big homie? Why I gotta get the call from niggas talking about, yo, Rick Ross kicked you off the show. I, I, we, we, we work with, I got the call from Barbados. They like, yo, um, you know, we do a lot of business with Rick Ross and we don't think Bobby's good for the show and this and that. Like, come on, bro, bro. I, I don't want, no beef with none of y'all niggas. I'm independent, first of all. I'm beefing with higher powers in the industry already. I already know who I, I talk to the niggas I already got. That I don't even, I'm beefing with them niggas, bro. I don't even want to beef with them. The niggas don't like me. They just hate to see me smile type shit. I don't even want to beef with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is, though, why, like, they like, yo, MMG called and said, yo, we don't want Bobby Schmurder on the show. Bro, I'm 30 years old, bro. I might be 30 in a couple weeks, bro. I'm not like none of these young niggas, bro. I've been selling drugs since I was 10 years old, bro. I didn't grow up like you or none of your other friends or none of that other shit, bro. I'm a different type of nigga. You feel me? I'm very honest. I'm, I'm, I'm Leo, bro. I ain't with other shit. Why you got to call? You could have called me, big homie. When I made that video, I was defending you telling motherfucking thing. Wow, wow. Check it, man. Check it. It's your boy, man. ECEO, man. I really, like I said, I'm a, I'm a big Bobby Smurda fan. Uh, I loved it when he threw up the hat. You know what I'm saying? But hey, let's talk about it, man. Boss Talk 101, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share. Make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications. You got to do all that when you're dealing with this stuff. But here it is, man. Uh, the first thing, the clip I showed was when, you know, hey, man, when, when the stuff happened with Rick, you know, Bobby Smyrna, uh, was he was laughing and having a great time about it. But I mean, everybody was really, really, you know, laughing at the time or, or like, what are you doing? But let's talk about it for a minute, man. Like, is the Internet a thing? Because the latest, you know, I heard that the latest. And that's why I'm giving you the latest that happened with this. The latest is that he took his post down saying, you know, hey, man, you know, he really this Internet thing can be tricky, man, because you got a lot riding on this, man. You got bills to pay. You're trying to stay in the game. Uh, Rose is a, a, a major factor when it comes down to giving people opportunity. So here we go, you know, trying to figure out how to stay in the loop of everything that's going on. And I'm telling you now, man, you got to understand it, man, that it, it, business is business. Uh, Bobby Smyrna, you got to watch how you move on this Internet because some of your frenemies can be your enemies. Y'all, hey, just feel me on that because you never know where the turn, what the tide's gonna turn, and you know, and, and especially you say you independent, so you know already 
anybody can say anything and, and Rose been out here. You've been gone for some years, man. And with you being gone for them years, you ain't had a chance to be out here developing those relationships like that. Rose got some real, real, some real, real relationships out here with some of the realest like, like situations with that system that you not, you know, you didn't get to develop in it because you had to go sit down because you a real one. And what you had to go sit down for you, you went ahead and took extra charges. I seen all that. But you got to understand this internet hit different. It just really, really hit different. I, I definitely didn't see it coming this fast. Like who would have thought that a few weeks ago you'd be laughing and the, and the, the same thing that'll make you laugh or to make you cry. You know what I'm saying? Because here you go now say, hey, man, you know, I don't want to be with none of y'all. I'm just trying to do my thing. But when you jump on the internet, you got to understand that consequences come with some of the things that you leave out there and you can't take it back down. So there's a reason why you have to, you know, pretty much assert yourself a certain way on this internet, because on the internet, it can look crazy a lot of times when people don't, you know, um, uh, you know, don't understand it or they get out here and say something that they might not want to hold steady to when all the chips are on the table. You know, um, you're a dope artist. Uh, Rose, you know how he is. He's laughing, you laughing, everybody laughing, but now things are starting to be like, man, I ain't want it like that. So, I mean, Bobby Smurda, a real one when it come down to what he did and the sacrifices he took to get to be who he is today. Um, of course, young, you do some crazy things. Like you said, I'm going to be 30. Once you get 30, you're not trying to do all this stuff that you did when you was 20, 19, 18, 17. 30, you trying to figure it out. Man may even be trying to figure out a way to, you know, settle down at that point. Uh, at this point, uh, your birthday coming up. I heard you say you're a Leo. You're stressing the fact, man. You're trying to understand, man, where, how did it, how did it get to this? Why did, why are we here now? You know, and, and I get it. But at the end of the day, you know why we're here now. All I can say is, man, just as you move forward, you know, move different, you know, because you never know what bumps and bruises you may cause because of the things you jump on the internet and say. But I, like I said, God gonna bless you, man. You already got a name, everybody looking at you anyway. Um, this is make, this could be a, a, a win for you if you really play it the way you're supposed to play it. This internet game is different, Bobby. And uh, Rick Ross, Ricky Ross, he know that. Rose know that. That's why he talking about his boots. He promoting off of this stuff too. You, uh, I don't see you promoting anything off of this whole movement. But yourself, you should have some type of product to promote in the, in the midst of this. You, you guys are way, way more, you know, you got a lot of Instagram followers, bro. So make that thing work for you, man. Like I said, you're a solid young dude, man. And then you preserved, man, and reserved. You ain't really just been out here tripping. So, man, it'll, it'll get straight for you, man. Like I said, it gets greater later. And at the end of the day, this might just be a minor setback for a major comeback. You know, so I, I really believe in your movement. And so a uh, Rose, like I said, he he a, he a dude that he just, you know, like I said, he said when people be confused, you know, he's shooting them shots. So you got to you got to take for what it's worth. But, man, like I said, don't let it don't let a little stumble hold you back. You you're a real one when it come down to these people love you and keep doing your thing. Um, like I said, I had to do the latest. This is the latest update on the fact of. Rick Ross kind of been chilling. He reserved right now. He chilling. He gonna come out tomorrow with something though. He keep us something on this internet going. Or 50 might chime in. Maybe 50 will put you on tour somewhere. Anytime Rose doing something one way, he'll take it another way. And you are from New York. So man, shout out to 50. 50, hey, if you listening, man, do something for your boy Bobby. Cause he out here, you know, kind of frustrated with this whole little situation right now at the time. So will 50 step up? That's another thing. 50, you think 50 will step up? and uh help out on this whole situation i don't know like i said i love to see y'all you work with 50 cent and i know already that's rick ross's arch rivalry so all you guys man get money so stop playing you know you're getting a lot of money so you young dudes need to fall back and quit acting like that man boss talk 101 hey man make sure you like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys become members and also make sure you hit that notification bell it's going down boss talk 101 what a boss is talk yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.